got into a pretty bad car accident. Just panted over to my car. Holy shit, dude. Completely deployed my airbags right here. I'm surprised this window didn't shatter. Curly fuck was sitting right here. I think he has a minor concussion. I have whiplash, I can't even fucking like look to the left completely. Door's completely fucked. Dude, look at the inside of the fucking car. Oh my god. My car's not opening. I'm gonna have to fucking climb in. Yeah, a drunk driver hit me last night. My first accident, and it was a pretty bad one. I know it sounds like we're making jokes, but I'm just actually grateful that I am here even documenting this right now. Ow, fuck. I'm gonna be fully real. This is the most awkward thing. I'm like explaining like a serious scenario while trying to get out of the car. Thank God paparazzi filmed it all. The guy was absolutely hammered, ran into us, ran a red light. They said if I didn't swerve at that last second and I head on collision with him, me and Aaron would most likely not have lived. So that's kind of even scary to think about, but dude, holy fuck. Look at my car, man. So we're gonna review uh, some of the paparazzi footage, and I kind of just want to show you and clown on the fucking guy. Drinking and driving, ran a red light, fucking idiot. And then I wasn't even gonna take it to legal. I was gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and just kind of just make his insurance pay for a new car for me. Then him and his little fucking passengers had the audacity to say it was my fault and that they were gonna lawyer up. We'll see you in court, buddy. <laughs> First off, drinking and driving, you're a fucking idiot. All credit anything that you have to say just out the window because you were driving absolutely hammered I think the article said when he got arrested for a felony DUI that he was over double the legal drinking limit I think it was something like that here. We'll just pop it up right here. Just uber guys. Just uber. It's like 20 bucks Just just take off one drink and, and use an uber saves a few lives We could that we could have died now We're gonna review some of the paparazzi footage that got the guy just being a belligerent idiot him trying to do the drunk test And then being put in the cop car and arrested for a felony DUI. I would have felt responsible for that too. He hit on the passenger side. I would have felt fully responsible for like my friends. This whole week, man. Weird. Dude, shut up. All right, now that you guys saw the car and uh, how serious the accident was, whoever whoever this paparazzi was just made like bank. They, they showed up on the scene super fast, saw my Instagram story, and was fucking there. So props to Daily Stardust. Right here, you can see the side of my car just absolutely smashed the cops. Um, I was fully in shock in this moment. My legs were shaking. Didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was still kind of disoriented. And if those cams on the on the cops ever like leak, it seems like I'm being like a dick. They were asking me so many specific questions in that exact moment after I just got hit by a drunk driver. So I kind of just lost my, my cool. I was like, why are you guys asking me this many questions? I just got hit by a drunk driver. He ran a red light and fucking almost killed me. Look at just all of our demeanors right here. Like, we're just all like, oh, fuck. Here's when they first, like, say what's up to me. The guy was super respectful, so I have to give him that. I don't really like when paparazzi kind of just butts their nose into things. Is there anyone you have a crush on? That's such a stupid question, dude. Oh, if it's not deleting the video, it's like, I know what you're gonna title that video, and it's fucking annoying. But this guy's actually really cool. Hey, Bryce, I'm really sorry about the accident, man. I know it's not the right time right now to be filming you and all this stuff, we're but. We're fine. You're fine, you're, you're okay. Yeah, we're good. And your car's fucking totaled. Fucking totaled. Thanks, dog. I'm more in shock, man. My legs are shaking. Of course, I'm man. I'm really like, I'm like, I'm not getting the right answers I want. Shit. Literally, my legs would not stop like going side to side. I felt like I was in my boxing match again. No one in the car thought they were hurt. Uh, of course, next day, we're all starting to feel like shit. The adrenaline wore off. I feel like an old man. My back can't move. I can't move all the way to the left. Look at Sadie's eyes. Because she hit her head on the glass mm. on, on impact. Were you in the car? Yes. Are you, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I was in the back seat on the side of the... Hit us. Everyone couldn't even speak <laughs> in this exact moment. We were just all like so disoriented didn't even feel real that it happened We like did a whole ass spin out in the middle of the highway into ongoing traffic. Just grateful. We're live Honestly, this is funny because the officers clearly telling him what to do and the guy can't comprehend what the guy is saying And he couldn't even walk in a straight line the officers being nice shines a light on the ground for him The officer was nice to even gave him the option to use the line, but the guy can't, can't even walk look and then I think we got the last part of him being put in the back of a police car. Hopefully this teaches him a lesson. I will be taking this to legal, mainly because he had a smart remark to say. And also I could have died. I'm just happy to be alive, man. <laughs> Be safe out there, guys. Don't drink and drive. Don't be that fucking guy that can't walk in a straight line when the cops are really asking him to do it and helping him out. Don't be that guy. Be a sober Sam, like Rory. Seriously, be careful. I'm on the fucking road now, boys. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in my high school that said I wouldn't be shit. Shout out to my mom for being a single mom, still raising a fucking dumb chotch like me.